refresh the alert. <laughs>
my secret dementia. I'm, I'm not. I don't have dementia, man. I do not. She has a worse memory than me, and I had a stroke eight years ago. Okay, no. <laughs> the more, the more you, the more you make fun of me, the more likely I am to have a stroke. I visited the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. Oh yeah, we're gonna get her to call her dad. We'll get you in the elderly home soon, Jelly. Please, no. I'm not even old. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped. I doubt the justice minister will call off the execution tonight. Jelly, I have a stroke every stream. I, I, <laughs> I don't. David, welcome! Aw oh, man, I'm late. Don't worry, you're not late! Don't worry! There's no shame being 37. Yeah, even if I am 37, you shouldn't be putting me into the old folks' home yet because I'm not even old at 37. <laughs> oh, it's Emily! The key to dispelling the minister's doubts is now in bed, coughing. And I need to use this key. Before that person, the prison van arrives to pick up our death row inmate. But how am I supposed to do that? Look at our fan fiction writer here. My darling angel. Oh, just listen to that cough. You naughty thing, did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night to play? A daughter after my own heart. But, I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. What? Ah, Mr. Chalice changed his profile page. Still relieved all the same. You remember this part. And there's another lucky development too. Emily wants to call her father. Now if I can just make use of that feeling somehow. 
that will surely bring the Justice Minster around. Um. Uh, how do I play this game again, LB? That's not LB! to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about him, Mama? He's the one who's a justice minister, you know? All you do is write re weird novels. <laughs> yeah, tell her, Emily! <laughs> she has a... Why does she have a wine bottle in her pocket? What do you mean, weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions! Now you really made me angry! You really have! How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? write stuff that's worse than Twilight, all right? How dare you insult my godly fan fictions? Fair. I'll be keeping my eye on you now, so you won't do anything else mischievous. Like calling your father. I hate you! I can hear you, you know. How do I do this? Do we have to make her leave? Wait, well, why is my up... My, my, my up joystick is dead. I can't go up. Look. I can't go up. I can only... I can I, can, I have to use my arrow keys. Oh, that ruins it. Thank you, Elizabeth, for the tip tip. Lamar, every time you open this game, you always say, how do I play this game again? Yeah, I'm not very good at using controllers. I'm not very good at, um, remembering controls. I need to rely on, um... Yeah, well, where is LB? How, how am I... Well, what is LB, anyways? Left bottom? It's not left bottom, it's left button. At the top, so what is the button at the bottom? That's also called left button. Left bumper! It might as well be called left button! Left burger. What's the what's the one at the bottom? What's the one called at the bottom? Left trigger. Why can't they just use left up and left down? Left up, L U. Left down, L L U uh, L D. Or left one and left two. Who the heck would remember trigger and bumper? My, my. Still broken! My controller is dead! Controller. 
Why is this? Use the telephone. I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. Okay, sure. Maybe somewhere here? There's a dictionary. Um, how am I supposed to get to the other side? Evolve here that is not doing anything. Well, well, having a good time, are we, little rodent? Apidu makes joysticks that aren't susceptible to stick drift. Oh, that sounds pretty good. If it's not like a billion dollars, I'll consider it. Is that, is that my boy Remy? No, not every rat is Remy. Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? She's not scared of rats. No, Pepe is up there. What? She's gonna just turn it back up? 
Maybe you have to save the rat? I, I don't think so. I think maybe it's something like... And how big the VTuber is. Size wise, like body wise.
attempted murder. I'm trying, but it's it's not working. It's not working. She's not dying. Help! burn it and then and then drop it no it goes back to normal I don't think it's I don't think it's working to stay up there spinning too. Goodbye, lady. Oh, the rat's tail is gonna burn. Wait, the rat wasn't dead. possible like if this happened it's 100% gotta be a ghost there's no way this excuse me a minute while I call papa okay mama I'll hold me a minute well it's pretty good I think we achieved it Kind of 
are tied up at the moment. She needs to be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, Emily. I, I wish I had a daughter. No, you, you know, daughters aren't like you see in like games, right? That's not how it works. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? Why are you talking from experience? Um, no. I was just about to make a terrible mistake. But it's all... <laughs> Young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. He looks like the Roblox face. <laughs> he looks like the Roblox chat face. He does. He's, he's been de-wrinkled. The job of Justice Minster is very complicated, you see. Okay. But just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa, have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Emily. Good night, sweetheart. change I I guess I was wrong about you I didn't understand oh Emmeline I thought all you ever did was write these weird novels that makes me a little sad Papa said the job of justice minister was complicated yes your father's job is a very very complicated and difficult that's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it but you're right. I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up after all. And I promise to stop calling your novels weird and act and try actually reading them. What? Oh, uh... <laughs> maybe you, you better wait until you're a little older for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Emily... If you're feeling a little more charitable towards your old mama, do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that. But I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. Tonight, on this, on this holiest of nights, my deadline. It looks like the only thing pressing me on pressing on me will be the chandelier. Here is to Papa and Mama's darling angel. Shouldn't I let her down like a good person? All of a sudden, everybody is getting along again. It's such an abrupt change, I can't understand it. Is this what family is all about? In any case, the situation has changed dramatically now. I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows on the minister's brow. Kid's not dead! I don't know where Camila is, but at least now the Justice Minister's doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office, where everybody is waiting for the prison van. Pretty good progress! The Minster's family now has all now has their smiles and harmony back. But Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers. I decide to go back to the Justice Minister's office. Surprisingly, the Minister's brow is just as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a father who has just learned his daughter is safe. He seems to be in he seems to still be in the in the depths of despair. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. 
It seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something big is gonna happen. I have a bad feeling about this. I just found out that my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter's sake. And for mine. <laughs> no need to thank us, Mr. Minster. It was nothing. What did he do? But one question. I can't help but notice. Your daughter is safe. And yet, you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Uh... Of course, there is still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minster? What now? Please, let me think in peace until the prison van arrives. I guess I'll just have to wait here. This continued distress of the minsters. Is there really nothing? Is there? Is there really something more to it? Like the inspector in white said. Hello, Justice Minster. How about you finally admit I do exist? That thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to control and manipulate people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. We've actually known, you know, for quite a while now. But I had no idea there were the powers of the dead, of ghosts. Known? Known about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others. A manipulator. Hey, that's your average woman! What's this? That's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jowd. Mr. Minster, why don't you just tell us everything you know? Jelly, contain yourself. What? Whatever comes out of my mouth is the truth and only the truth. I'm not sexist. Yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. Manipulator! There's some cases in this country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Joel Dowd. Right, they don't share too much top secret information with the inmates in prison. They're three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have certain points in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. Oh, this guy who, um, leaked national secrets. <laughs> the guy who ate a lot. Curry loving fellow took the chief commissioner hostage as a metro police department. Neither of these men had a motive for their crime, and both of their crimes were impossible. Impossible? The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office. And the rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrets he leaked. The special investigation unit submitted an investigative report to me on them. Oh yeah! That's true! They concluded that these men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. But how could that be? The theory that the unit came up with was the existence of a manipulator. I'm late. Oh, 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 o
That's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. But then why is Zhao's case in here? Some unknown power has been at work these past several years. Inspector Cabanella has been studying these, these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating somebody into committing a criminal act, according to the inspector. The first case of its kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say I was manipulated somehow into shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another's behavior like that. What if what if they have a ghost that can work on living creatures and a ghost that can also work that they can work on non-living creatures? That's what I thought when I first heard the theory too. However, I was seriously mistaken. And it proved to be a big, a big mistake. What? Tell me the mistake. You mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? I suppose everybody here has the right to know. All right, fine. I'll speak out loud so that Inspector Kamenella can hear this too. There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minster. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. And I... I learned the truth of that firsthand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Zhao's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. <gasps> ah! I was being controlled! You never told me about this, Mr. Minster! What's going on? Th this document, what am I doing? No, I mustn't sign it! is part of a justice minister's job. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. But the next day, it dawned on me. What chapter is this again? This is, um, chapter 13? Or 14? I think it was 13 or 14. I don't remember. I remembered Inspector Cabanel's report on the existence of a manipulator. As a minister of justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, this nation's judicial system would crumble. 
Besides, I had no evidence. I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. That's true. What is real? What is the real actions of somebody when there is there is the existence of an external entity that can control your actions? I suppose. But it sounds like a sounds a bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minster. Yes, yes, I know. I should have. I was running away from the problem. And then my wife found out I was worried about something. Well, if you go around with an expression like that, I guess it was bound to happen. I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out! Oh, so that's why she left him! I see! And then, with the kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under my nose like that, I can no longer deny my mistake. His wife is hot? Wood? His wife looks 40, 50, 45! This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. Hag love! She's got a child! The age of 45 is in demand! So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. So there's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain dusk lamp. What I'm not fine with is that the person can control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. What if Ray has been lying to us all this time? Apparently, different ghosts get different ghost tricks. But I never imagined that tonight I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Where it comes from? Inspector Cabanella, this manipulator is a ghost, a departed spirit. A spirit? As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. Whoa! What did you say? Don't! Don't tell me you can hear this ghost too! Shrugs! I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you. Spirit? Ghost? Gods in heaven! Excuse me, Mr. Minster. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend you think long and hard before you're making your final decision, sir. In this world, KMSing is a valid way to get superpowers. I don't think killing yourself is gonna work. Because you need to like die when you don't wanna die, right? When you kill yourself, you've kinda accepted that you're gonna die. This is Lynn. I'm at the park. We've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Well, uh, the situation here is... It's kind of difficult to explain. Cecil, if you're there, come to the park immediately! People die when they're killed. Well, I guess we gotta go again. It looks like your help is needed, Cecil. Yeah, I guess so, huh? How did this guy become such a celebrity in order of night? Person, you still still have your old person form, or do you can you like choose to be like younger? 
Lynn calls, and I oblige. I take off to where Kemsick Park, the place where clearly something big is taking place. The mini, but the 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 the, 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 <laughs> the manipulator, the person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Zhao, it's crime, the execution's orders, and even my own death. <gasps> Could it be? Could Lin have been manipulated into shooting me? of the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight and the place where an important piece of evidence the music box was hidden I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected at least she isn't dead but what did she find why is the chicken kitchen guy here A dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. And I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope, I suppose not. A body has been discovered! <laughs> what do I do with this guy? Who is this? Looks like a Teletubby! Oh, it's this guy! Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! You there! You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you! Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in! I urge you to pursue... Per, I urge you to peruse it thoroughly! Examine it in detail! Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name? My name? What does my name matter? When there are more important things to worry about? Okay... Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching. 
but we are young. Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life, but I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back, back to four minutes before your death. Who is this guy anyways? What, 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 what? What significance does he have to the plot? made up my mind. I resolved to live here in the park and defend it. Okay, and what does that have to do with this rock of the gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. It's a hobo. It's written clearly. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom? Undercover cop? No way! Oh! I'm coming! Just hold on! I'll be right there! Oh, so this is before she was kidnapped! I've located the target, Beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Ah, so that's how they got messed up! Yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. No, no, no. This is four minutes before that guy's death. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? Wait, if we rewind time to the to when this guy died, wouldn't the kidnapping be? Wait, what? Wouldn't I have to relive the next like hour again? Oh God, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. Me, but 
But are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. It was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? A god? I was unconscious for a little while. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big, scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. To rescue Miss Camilla, it was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart, and then I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Well, what is that? What is that glowing rock? And then I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So you went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death. You bet I did! Oh, it's so cool! Actually, 
Wait, what? So he didn't manipulate it? I can't manipulate things like you can, Siso. You can't? Then how did you? I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core too. <laughs> a single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? They can swap! You can swap places? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. Wait, that's that's really that's kind of that's that's uh that's that, that that's that's kind of that's kind of hyper specific. So that's how you save your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry! My powers were too meager. Because you see, I saw one more. I happened to notice one more core. There was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree. If Mino could be swapped again with that... Then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. But is it too far? How do you say me, me, major, meager? I couldn't. I can stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Sissel. Meager? Meager. Yeah, that's what I said, meager. Oh, it's too far. Oh, man. I must admit, it is a fascinating spectacle of a death if I do say so myself. I kept trying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. If we work together, you and me? Sisso, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally, who are you? So, we're going to drop that Mino thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. So how do I... Okay, that's a football. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then you have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. But with the rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. It looks like you and I will have to work together in this one, Missile. <laughs> Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just press... What is RG? That way you'll be able to control me. And then if you press RT... Control will come back to me. Together, we can stop Mino from hurting anybody! Alright, trigger! Ah! No, I saw what I wanted to do! Okay. No, don't talk! And 
then I want to swap. No, 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 not with that. No, no, no. No, what the? Okay. Jesus. to move the tire? I I guess so. I didn't think he would. Ball. So I can get stuck on the tree. Maybe it's the basketball so I can get stuck on the tree. No, that would make a lot of sense. Okay, let's see about let's see about this. I'll switch back.
Okay, like this? Ah. I didn't reach up high enough. here. up here, right? I believe.
should it be the basketball or the baseball that flies up? I think it's gonna... I think it's gotta be the basketball because the baseball was the first one on here. No, because the... Because... Because it would make sense, right? For the game to... Okay, I might be... I might be... I might be kind of meta right now, but I feel like the baseball would go too far. But the basketball might just reach the umbrella. And why would it be the baseball when they said that Mistal is the key here, but nothing is swapped? Right? I'm meta gaming. Let me meta game. It's gotta be this. It's gotta be this. Uh, but but now what? I told you. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? <laughs> what do I do now? Oh, I swap it with the tire! No, 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 no. No, what the... No! Hmm, with the ball there, I think I can do it! In just a few seconds, you swap Mino with the leaf! And then from there, you can swap Mino one more time! The final moment is near, Miss Are you ready? You bet! Oh god... Already been swapped or not? Okay, yep. It's gotta be it's gotta be the basketball meta game that saved us all. I would have had to restart this again. I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I wanna stay dead a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camila when, even when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camila. And to do that, I need this power as I have now. Doggo! I see. Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course. You're right. Okay, Miss Al, have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly! You have my word! Let's go back then! To the present! God, imagine if you could just like... Just like re-alive somebody. And then go back to the present. 
And so Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lin listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright. After all... After all, she has me! Missile, are you in there? Miss Lin, leave Miss Camila to me! I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her! Miss Up to Missile. It kind of looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. Oh! I have something to give you! Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! Aren't you forgetting your promise? Pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. This is for you. Oh. Yeah, we've got the evidence. You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. You're welcome to the stream. Hello, readers. I regret saving that man already. Yeah, it kind of annoys me. I'm a little bit annoyed. Readers, hello! Kawo! Kawo! Kawo, read! Hello! I'm playing Ghost Trick! My name is Jelly Hoshiomi, and today I'm a cat girl who is, um, dead. Yeah. <laughs> How is Ghost Trick? I've heard it's a fun game. It, it, it took kind of long it, it took kind of long for it to be like interesting But I, I I guess it's pretty worth it It's pretty fun Welcome to the Radars I've been a cat girl this whole week I know I, I kind of felt like this game only got a bit more interesting Like past 10 <laughs> Would have Wanted. What's the matter? Can't cut your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty! Aren't you a bit old to be a cat girl? Hey, shut up! It is not something you should say to the raiders! I'm for I'm your I'm your eternally young seven years old. <laughs> How would you say it is compared to Ace Attorney? I think Ace Attorney is more interesting. I like Ace Attorney more. Sorry, I'm late. Right, welcome, readers! <laughs> I think he's dead. Either that or he's like. Excuse me, but are you. No, it couldn't be! Have we met before? Aren't you... Aren't you that... Little girl? From... That time? I'll never forget it! It was ten years ago! In this park! What?! You can't just... Make this guy... Important! You can't just... I'm not a hag! You can't just make this guy... Important! You, you can't do that! Ten years ago? Are you talking about? Huh? Hey! Tell me something! Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? 
Surely you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about it? About what happened 10 years ago? Oh my god, dude. I don't want this guy to be important. He's annoying. He, he's annoying. He reminds me of... um. He reminds me of Tingle from, Ze from Legend of Zelda. He reminds me of Tingle. You know that green thing? I freaking hate that green thing. I freaking hate Tingle. I hate him. I hate Tingle so much. I think Tingle should just die. If I could, I would step on Tingle with my feet and crush him. Until... Until he's nothing but a glob of blood and flesh. I hate Tingle. I literally hate Tingle. He sells maps. He can eat those maps. I hate Tingle! He's so ugly! He used to give me nightmares as a kid! Tingle! <laughs> I hate Tingle. <laughs> yes! Yes, of course I was actually about to do just that. Tingle gave me nightmares as a child because of how ugly he was! Let me just Google up a, a picture of Tingle. Why is he so ugly? He's so ugly! God! Makes me sick. Tell me about the rock of the guys. Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Tingle was the only thing keeping me from playing Zelda. Oh, the new, t the new Zelda game don't have Tingle. Oh, sorry, my mouse is in the way. Ridiculous word games. You're standing just above the rock of the gods now. Take a good look at that monument. What is that tablet? This is nothing. Oh, never mind. It says Rock of the Gods Temsic Park. That's a meteor. The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there these ten years. Jerry, you've got cat ears. Ever since that day, it flew down from the from the heavens and showed us a miracle. Oh, it's a meteorite. It's a meteorite, right? So this rock you've been talking about is a meteorite? Precisely. It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. Me? Huh? Huh? Space aliens gave dead people ghost powers. If that turns out to be the whole thing, I'm going to uninstall. That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that they would change my destiny. The sun was going down, and through the gloom, I heard the scream of a little girl. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. S stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figurines. That's Jowd and that's Lynn. <gasps> Who is that? That looks like Cabanella. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick, it was painful. Just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned, bluish white. When it crashed into the ground, the meteor gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. <gasps> the frag, the 
those meteorite fragments killed the guy. That's like a one in a billion chance of that happening, right? The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Got sniped by the aliens. I thought they said John shot him. I don't know, actually. Thank you for the one member when stream apples stood out. Come in and Thursday. Thank you. Ten years ago, the little girl that was you was saved by the rock of the gods. Oh, my, I, I can't believe it. The rock of the gods was given the name Tempsic. And still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. But, but, but when I, but when I died, there was that radioactive energy coming out of... That's me! Was I the one who was the criminal? Was I the criminal? Was I the criminal because of the rock? Because when I died, right, there was that energy that was, that was like flowing out of me, you know, that, that, that... The same, like, aura that, that the rock was giving off? Do you remember? And maybe, maybe when, maybe the, the thing I was telling Lynn was like, maybe I was like, I was the one who was, who kidnapped you that day. And then that's why, that's why, that's why, um, Jowd was drawing me because he couldn't forget my face. That was ages ago. No, but, the, but I could no, but I didn't die. I didn't die to the rock. I... I never knew about this Tempsic. I always thought Effective Jowd was the one who saved me. You were very young then. And you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course, you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Lin. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news, and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Temsic, after the name of the park that it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now, an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning the park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park, and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. That is my mission. I see. Miss No! I'm taking you with me, Miss so ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. But I get that. But Detective Jout, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Temsic thing. And if he knew, and the man died, I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? True. What is that? The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago. Change the destinies of many people's lives, like the ripples in a pond when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Why is he lying? Maybe to maybe to protect Sissel from the truth? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need. We decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there was a few things I wanted to ask Detective Jowd. Jowd lies a lot. He's, um... He's a little bit of a weird fellow. We found the music box, Detective Jowd! Good job, Lin. I knew you would. Once everything had been resolved, I had wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose you'll ever forgive me. Jelly, hello! Hello! Detect 
Detective Jode. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know? What kind of knack is that? There is no way that thing fit in there! No, do not look in it! <laughs> Whatever you do, Star Knights, do not hold a gun like that! Do not do that! Especially not with your other hand so close to the trigger! Especially not with the safety off! Do not stare into the barrel of a gun! Scorch marks! When Camila built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Oh, like, um... Flash paper! Or is that what you call... Is that what you call it? Why would little Camila use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. Ha ha! In the case report, there was mention of some scorch marks. When it happened, Camila was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun. Something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the frame, too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words, it proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. I'm a ghost right now! I'm dead! And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. But the angle was never brought up in court. And so was Justice Minster. I must call off the execution at this point. I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jow. Now we can finally prove that! Thank goodness. Thank you, Lin. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Oh, yeah! Hey! 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 I need you to tell me about something! Hey! Shiso, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now. Without ever hearing of... Without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I've told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. This is gonna be a real court case? Yeah, I don't think real world court cases have things just supernatural... Uh... Supernatural... Tampering. Is that what they would call it? Tonight, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. But Ace Attorney? Oh, I mean that's that's not real. If you if you do anything like what Ace Attorney does in court, you will be literally like disbarred. And the only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. OBJECTION! And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions. In order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Cecil told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yes. And it told- And it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minster, too. Your honor! It was a ghost! <laughs> Ah! Please don't pick on the minster. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. Oh! Cecil, do you think... Do you think that's what happened to me, too? Hmm? What are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You were manipulated, too? 
There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. What? Who is it? And why did they do it? That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camila's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know the device from somewhere. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right, I knew it! See, Detective Chad? No, I'm afraid I don't see. Alright, that, that time at the, um, at the basement. Yeah, this thing. What is this thing? Told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a con completely different place. What is what is all this about? I still don't know anything about this. It's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town? I've never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about the contraption. about that, did you? I hear the meteorite saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If that's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite! Explain yourself! What is the meaning of this? I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. What? I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. What? So you're saying if I have intrusive thoughts about wanting to shank somebody, but I don't actually do it, and they were shanked by somebody else later, I would be a murderer? if John Smith hadn't shanked him before I did. What an odd thing to say. I'm just, I'm just putting whatever this guy said in easier to understand light. You were trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? The truth about 10 years ago. On that day 10 years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Thought crimes? If thought crimes could be actually used against me, I think I would be out. I think I would have a lifetime in jail. I think I would have faced a death penalty. Another place? Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident. A suspect who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the case. So I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess... Unfortunately... 
I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there! I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him bad. That warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was a young and green detective, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. Detective Chowd! All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last 10 years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I had done. Wait, but it didn't make... That doesn't make any sense. Why was I in the room? Why was I the target of those blue guys? In that blue room? I painted pictures in my cell. Nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight... I finished my last portrait. The final face I wanted to remember. The final face... The face of the man in the park that day. I knew it. <laughs> the canvas. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight. It was me. It was my face. Are you telling me that I was the man in the park that time? Oh my god. I mean, he didn't die to the meteorite. That's gotta be it. That face of yours is the face I saw 10 years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole, of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. Ray was the one who um let me live, I think. Four minutes in the past. Whatever, blah, blah. But, but hold on, Detective Chowd. That can't be true. I just met Cecil for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me! By the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by... Is it Cecil? What? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering... Who in the world is this guy? I... I... Cecil's dad? No way! Mr. Minster! Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. Well, what? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. No way! What? My doctor, daughter who was abducted! Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a lie. I mean, that one was kind of obvious. Yeah, it was kind of sus. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Once a criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. Mr. Minster, you look paler than ever. What in the world? What's going on? Inspector Cabanella! The 
the rock of the gods and fell from the sky ten years ago, twisted the fates of many people, and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow even ever longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. Oh my god! And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? <laughs> I'm even further from knowing than when I started. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Who's us? How many chapters do I have left? No, what? Who am I? Okay, so two more. Let me do let me do the next one. Four more? Okay, so let me do Wait, four more? So, if I... Hmm. It goes until 16? 18? 18 total, so I'm 15. Okay, I think we should leave... I think we should leave the rest for the next two streams. I think that's gonna be a good amount. We're gonna do two or three next time, and then we're gonna do one or two next time. Mpac 60, thank you for the ah, Hi, Jelly. I want to thank you for drawing my promo picture yesterday. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It looks really good on you, by the way. Okay, 18, right? So 15, 16, 17, 18. So two at a time. And we'll finish. Ending on a cliffhanger. It's going to be a cliffhanger until the next two are finished. <laughs> yeah! Okay, now let's listen to the music. Have we unlocked the good song yet? Now wait, is this one? Wait, no, what?
29. Can I? Do I have to participate in all of it? Cause I'm I'm gonna be gonna be kind of busy. Cause I'm I'm gonna go with my. I, I promised that I would give my parents a week of my April. Uh, I don't, I prefer not to be. But it's okay if it's company mandated, I have to do it.